Maddie, welcome to Glasgow City. First signing for the 2020 season. I know you've been training for a little while, but now we can confirm it. Yep. How happy are you to be here? Yeah, I'm delighted to be here. A great bunch of girls and looking forward to a new challenge. A new challenge back in Scotland. Why Glasgow City? Um, they've dominated for years, um, even when I was playing in Scotland previously. Always the hardest team to play against. Um, and obviously I was at Celtic for a number of years, but wanted a change and wanted to be playing with the best team. Yeah, and there's been a lot of talk around in Scottish women's football, you know, teams, you know, put money to the game, trying to close mm -hmm. the gap, which has been closing and, you know, strength of the league is, is growing, but is it that f historical and very recent historical factor of trophies that, you know, still, you know, lured you to the best club in Scotland at the moment? Yeah, definitely. Um, and even training here for the last couple of months, like, I've seen the standards straight away when I went in the tempo of training. And I just feel like I fit really well in this team. So it was an easy decision to make. As you mentioned, people may well remember you from your, your Celtic days, been there for a number of years, um, from right young, and you're still young now. Um, and obviously you had a little spell in Iceland. And tell us about your kind of journey um, up north. Um, yeah, well, I was in Iceland for just over two years. The first year I went, we actually got promoted to the top league, Pepsi League it's called. Um, which was great, amazing, but unfortunately we weren't really able to strengthen the team uh, last season. So we're fighting relegation, came down to the last few games and then got relegated. But it was very different for me because even playing at Celtic, we were always trying for first or second, um, competing at the top. But then going to face relegation, I think it actually improved a lot of aspects of my game. And it was different, but it was good. What would you say the standards like? Because I've heard stories before about the top teams. There's maybe more depth at the top, but it kind of drops away. But you're obviously a side fine at the bottom. Was it you no know, very competitive top to bottom? Yeah, it was very competitive. Um, the far, the top two teams in Iceland, Val and Brelbeek, they are they've got like the full Icelandic national team. So there is there's a big jump even from the two to third place, um, finishing the league. But I mean playing against these teams, it's good. Um, it shows. Like you need to work hard and it was good. It was a good challenge, but also kind of deflating when these teams were beating you like, you know, five, six now sometimes, which was hard to take, but it was a good experience. What did maybe you have to do that was different in your game compared to when you were playing at Celtic? Um, I actually felt like I played much more defensive in Iceland. Um, sometimes I was the one sitting in front of the back four, which I did enjoy, but like I said, it just was very different. Um, made me work extremely hard every game, um, but yeah. So you come back to Scotland, obviously middle of the park, you say you kind of maybe played a bit in a different position in the middle of the park. What do you think fans should expect from, from you in the pitch in the coming season? Um, just to give 100% each game, like, going, like to get the ball in the final third, we won twos, um, yeah, just the playmaker, I want to be a playmaker almost. I kind of said before we start the interview, it's a big number to fill there, number seven. Abby Grant had it last, which went down south. Denise Sullivan, who's uh, been a superstar in America, Irish, yeah. international. So uh, no pressure. No but, pressure, know, but, you I know. know. It's, there's, uh, the midfield is a very tough position at Glasgow yeah. City. So I guess you may relish in that challenge with some of the experienced players and young players in that middle of the park. Yeah, definitely. And I know coming into the team, like the three starting centre mids are all brilliant and um, we'll play with Scotland. It is going to be hard but I'm up for a challenge and I do think there's a lot I can bring to the team. Be a bit of a long wait for you because the players kind of come back a couple of weeks or so before Christmas and then after Christmas they're back full pelt but you've been kind of training for a little while with City so for you it's going to be a heck of a long break until the end of February. Yeah well my last game in Iceland was the 21st of September so then as soon as I get back that's when I was going to take my like after season break but then I've come and trained with City like a week or two later. So I'm actually looking forward to this break. Um, but yeah, I'll just keep myself ticking over. And then obviously we're back in this week and then a few weeks break. So it will be nice. And the, the fixtures are out ahead of the, you know, the, the Christmas break. Um, and your old club Celtic first up at the end of February away from home. Celtic did defeat Glasgow City towards the end of the season. Um, <laughs> but City and Celtic have always been close games in recent seasons. But almost a hallmark of you coming to the club that you play Celtic first. Yeah, I know. I could have sworn that was going to happen. But I never thought I would be playing against Celtic because I was at Celtic for 10 years. But um, I'm looking forward to it and it'll be nice. And I, I'm still close to the majority of the girls. So it'll be good. 
I'm not even touched on yet that, that you've came to the club and you've got a quarter final against Wolfsburg. We part. Hopefully, you'll be thinking you'll be part of the squad um, for that. Um, that must be a bit of a whirlwind thought being in a quarter final of the Champions League. Oh, unreal! Like I went to the game, um, just watching, of course, against Bromby, and just the feeling like that's more so what made my decision. Like 100 percent knew I wanted to sign here. Like champion, nothing beats a Champions League night and playing in the Champions League. So, yeah, what a start! Absolutely, and talk about Celtic. You know, you've been away for you know a couple of years or so. You know, you're on a Celtic side that are kind of there, they're about second or third, but still kind of a long way behind. They've got a bit closer. You've got Hibs that have been City's rival in recent years. Mm -hmm. You've got Rangers that are saying that you know they're, they're going semi-pro. So it could well be a bit of a concertina at the top of the table. So I guess for you, maybe coming back into it, it'll be a, you know a step up in competitive nature from from when you left. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, it is going to be a challenge and I'm just going to have to give it everything. And just finally, what little message would you say to the fans to come along in 2020 to support you and the side for the, the big games, particularly at the start of the season? Um, just that I'm looking forward to, like, I've been to City Games, I know the atmosphere is class, the fans seem to be amazing, so I'm just looking forward to seeing them all at the games. Okay, look forward to seeing you in 2020. Thank you.